think that's everything. Yeah, hopefully. If you haven't been blown away or learned about potatoes, I don't know where potatoes came in the story, but hey, hey, let's go from there. <laughs>
everyone is different. Lots of people, uh, you know, like it moving. Some people don't and, and fizzling in, fizzling out, slider images, all of those types of things are kind of dealt with. Once we have a development put together, a working website um, that's on a staging site. So if you have a current website, we provide you with a staging website. So you can see these stages coming together and your current website is not touched or taken down. So in short, basically what she's saying is it's either classical music or it's 90s rape. So it's full stroke effect, the lot going on, or we got classical music, which is a bit more Sinatra and just a bit more relaxed and we're chilled out. Or we've got Im Van Dahl going on with a bit of strobe lighting going on. It's probably more my side is that the fact that I'd like a bit of strobing going on. Don't get me wrong, I love the astronauts floating around our own website. Um, I still want more animation, but they keep taking time to do things i'm sure they put it off for no reason but to annoy me but hey, 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 that's a different story um but yeah no that makes uh, that's perfectly there obviously we've got all the way to the end and we've got this nice new website i'm happy with the staging site but how do i know it's ready do i know or is that something that we go through a bit of both actually well more so i tell you you know to the point um because once it's become a staging website we then have to start building the pages and some pages are slightly different to others. So if you have a shop, for example, I'll need you to provide me with the products, product descriptions, prices, that sort of thing. So we can set up the first initial products. Same with a blog. If you're going to have a blog on your website, we'll either copy them from your current website or quite a few people recently, although they have blogs on their current website, they want to scrap them completely and they'll send me brand new. Um, so it's working together from the point that it's a, a staging site, so a working URL, to the point that it goes live, we work together quite a lot on making sure the content's where it's meant to be, the images are meant to be. You know, you send me the content per page, whether it's one email for your services, one email for your contact, one email for your blog, however works best for you. Um, but it's a real team effort. And once it's ready to go live, I'll then email you and say, right, I think this is ready to go live. Um, the contact form, you know, where would you like that email to go to if you have one? let me know if you're happy with it because I'm not just going to set it live even though I think it's ready if you're not happy with it. And if you watch any so, of our other videos, we've got top tips on blogging and we've also got well, if you've got an email address and we can do those as well. <laughs> however, the blogging says you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Um, <laughs> however, that's because that's essays. Um, but yeah, so we've gone live and now we're happy and we go forward. So what's the sort of steps again life? Does it, is it a flick of a switch or do we have to do funky things? Does it take days, does it take weeks or is it sort of relatively okay? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's a, you ask Kyle and he flicks a switch. <laughs> because, um, you know, I don't, once I know that it's li ready to go live, so once I've done my part, which is, you know, the design, the edits, the contact forms, the shopping integrations and anything else that you've agreed with the features and the look and feel, we agree a go live date. Now, sometimes that's an agreed date a week ahead, or it could be, yes, please set it live now. You know, sometimes there's an agreed time frame, um, but upon that time frame, I then ask Kyle to flick the switch. Um, but with that, actually one quite important part is that we do need access to your domain. Yeah, I was gonna say I'd probably better answer in that question in yeah. general. Um, <laughs> in theory, yeah, it's a, it's a quick switch. Um, as long as we've got the right details. We normally try and get domain access early on into, into the stages because we can either host it, the domain for you because we're domain registrars. Yeah. Um, we've probably got a video on that as well somewhere. Um, and the other aspect is obviously if we haven't got that, can we get access into that? Or if you have a third party IT company that's looking after it, um, we'll give those the, that information ready to go live. Uh, generally the DNS side of things, domain names, uh, is what takes the longest because it can take up to 72 hours to replicate. So generally no more than 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and we're good to go. It's a lot faster nowadays, but obviously you get those those delays sometimes, or if somebody puts something in wrong or something like that, uh, especially if we've got a third party handling the situation. Um, overall, generally, it's pretty quick, and then obviously at the end of it, we generally could do a quick test over to make sure things are working. Don't get me wrong, sometimes when you change stuff over, you do get niggles that pop up out of things because you haven't been able to test them prior to going live. Uh, so sometimes we, because we need live environments for like payment gateways and stuff like that. But 99% of the time, it's, it's normally a pretty fluid and 
no more than probably a few hours and you, you're live on your new website. That's why we normally say it's best to stage it because then we can make sure all of those requirements are in place before we go. And once it is live, I guess the important thing is to know we don't just set it live and run away. We do. <laughs> we don't. No, we don't. I do. I come out of it. Uh, I generally, because I'm yeah, doing something Steve, else. Steve and I. So the rest of the developers and team and that, obviously, are on, on call uh, throughout the time. Um, obviously, those guys are in work hours. I'm a bit different. I will monitor externally. But overall, yeah, we don't leave. We're always there, aren't we? Yeah, we don't, we don't run away. I think it's important, like, you get training. So once the website is live, I'll train you usually takes between 20 to 40 minutes to train you. So it's not a three hour Zoom call where you have to really put time aside to try and work out what on earth you're gonna do with this website that's now live and wonderful. Um, it, it's 20 to 40 minutes at most, knowing how to edit, change, update your services, your blog, your about, your certifications, your sponsors, anything like that. All of those things are relevant. Um, and usually, you know, the hosting is with us as well. Um, so the ongoing support can stay with us if you so wish. We offer maintenance packages, ad hoc support, pay as you go services. It's very, um, I think what we've been called before is a pick and mix service. Um, so you Not can- Not sure if that's a good thing, it depends on what you put in your pick and mix, but hey. <laughs> um, but also to live to late with the, obviously the support side of the, um, the web, uh, obviously you, it's a WordPress platform. Uh, there's tons and tons of tutorials out there. We've also got our own. We've got our own knowledge base for a lot of it as well. I mean, there's videos. Uh, there's videos. There is a lot of stuff that is connected. So you're not alone. You've got us. Mm. You've also got the world that does um, the WordPress environments. And also you've got, if there is anything bespoke, then we've got our developers on hand at all times. And because we write to the industry standard, everything's easily picked up. <laughs>